Hello, everyone. My name is Ivan. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Daytona. And today, we're going to launch something very special from Daytona. And it's not what you usually expect from a cloud development environment type company. But regardless, I want to walk you through how we actually got to this place. So to kick off, Daytona is coming to a phase three of its life cycle. So what is phase one and what got us here? Well, basically, phase one of Daytona was focused on establishing ourselves in the open source community and helping individual developers set up, run, and maintain their dev environments. Essentially, just creating a better DX for everyone there. And even though we haven't got to a V1, since our launch in March, we've accumulated almost 10,000 stars and just like thousands of people are using this on a daily basis, which I think is amazing. So welcome to phase two. Phase two is the expansion of our open source product with features that are very important to large enterprise customers. And this is everything from orchestrating multiple, be it hundreds or thousands of dev environments across an enterprise, robust access control, the security features, and of course, compliance. And we're on target to launch this publicly end of year. And even though these things that I mentioned are not through and through completed, but something that we're working on actively every day, it is our job to think forward and see where the market is heading and how Daytona can help these things. So with that, I want to welcome you all to phase three, which is currently called AI Agent Agnostic Middleware. We will probably have to figure out a better name. But what that means is, if you look at what Daytona does, it basically spins up dev environment. It'll check out your repository, run a dev container configuration if it's in there, connect your ID, basically take away all these tasks that as a developer, you have to worry about, right? But if you look at where the world is going and what's happening right now, you have a bunch of these AI co-pilots or completely autonomous AI agents. And right now, for the most part, how they work is they have access to just your files, maybe one file, maybe the entire code base, but not the entire dev environment. And so we thought about where the world goes going forward. And it seems to be that the way AI coding agents become better is that if you give them an entire dev environment to run. So imagine you're coding, your copilot can actually spin up the exact same dev environment at the same time and run tests against that, get the output, figure out if it works, and then shoot that back to you. I think that would be amazing. But now imagine that if the agent could spin up two dev environments or four or 10 or a thousand for every variation, you could very quickly get to a solution that you actually want. And so how do you do that? I mean, spinning up or creating an agent service on its own is very complicated. And to be clear, Daytona is not going into that space. But what we are thinking about is how can we enable all these companies, be it that you're using someone else's agent or you're building your own, to get where they want to faster. And so welcome to today's launch. And today, to be very clear, again, we have a very we have a few POCs that we created running on Daytona with different AI agents. But for today, we actually want to show you one specific one. And that is the one of Open Hands. So Open Hands is this MIT open source project that had that is essentially an AI autonomous agent. You write in plain English or any other language, and it will create the project for you. For the most part, you can right now go to their GitHub, you can fork it, you can use it on your own, and you can spin it up on your own. But it's still a tedious task to get up and running, and it's very hard to get multiple of them up and running. So what we did is we took the Daytona infrastructure layer and added open hands on top of that. And so that is what I'm going to show you today. If you want to try it out, you can go to openhands.daytona.io and hit the sign up button. I'm already signed in, but you'll have to OAuth into there to get it up and running. And so this is the view of the Daytona product. Essentially, depending on how people decide to integrate our middleware, it can look completely different. But we still wanted to show you how it looked. And so while testing it out, you can test out Daytona. Basically, when you use Daytona, you define the repo that you want to start off with. 
or you can pick an empty one, which I will do. You can pick your IDEs. In this example, we have open hands defined as an ID, so the agent itself, but you can also switch to VS Code in the browser to actually interact with the files as well. I'll leave open hands. Um, there's only one workspace class and I'll default a name there. And when you hit create, Daytona will spin up a workspace. It will add open hands on top of that and it will open open hands for you and you can start coding or typing or prompting immediately. All right, now that we have open hands right here, open hands does take a few minutes or a minute to get initialized and up and running. So as soon as you see at the bottom initializing agent or waiting for input, we are off to the races. So let's give a second the agent to get up and running and we'll start prompting. All right, we are all set. As you can see, it says I'm open hands and I ask for engineering, what can I build for you today? So we'll do something simple. Make a website for a web. All right, I asked it just to make a website for a web hosting company and make it in a modern design and don't stop till you're done. It's created the index HTML file, it's creating the style CSS file. Continue until done. Also typos in my word, but that's totally okay. All right, can you show me a preview in the browser? By the way, you can see everything that the Open Hands agent is doing here in the Jupyter IPython sort of editor. Um, it says it's running. Okay, open the preview in your browser. It's now asking the browser agent to open it up. You can see it's slightly flashing here in the browser. And here we have our website up and running. Obviously now we can prompt it, change it, do whatever we want, but it is there and it's running. One more thing before I let you go is if we go back to Daytona and this is the workspace, I can actually select VS Code in the browser on the fly. It'll open a browser-based VS Code. And what's interesting is that the files that are here you'll also see here. So you can go out and edit this as a human after the AI has done it. So with that, just wanted to thank you so much. Wanted to thank Open Hands for creating this great product. Love it if you'd all try it out. Just go to openhands.daytona.io, sign up. There is free usage to a limit, so watch out for your limits. And hopefully, if you're interested in running this in your enterprise or helping us, if you're building an agent, and need help with the infra, we would love to chat. So reach out at any time. Um, you can find us at Daytona.io. Thanks so much and enjoy open hands.